first I want to ask you, is Outlaw your real last name? Yes, uh, Outlaw is my real name, family name. Okay, awesome. So what got you into doing uh, professional bull riding? What, what started that? Grew up on a farm and um, used to watch it on TV as a kid and you know my dad did it, you know, nothing professionally but seen it on TV and I said, you know, that's what I want to do when I grow up and and now we are, here we are. For the little kid or, you know, somebody that's just interested in maybe becoming what you are one day, um, what what is it like? What is what is life on the road like as a it's uh it's the best life in the world because i mean you're you're your own boss can decide where you go and you see somewhere you're somewhere different every time you're in a new city new place uh before i was 20 i've been i went to australia twice to ride bulls i mean so it's you you get to be uh see so many different cultures and go all around and i mean we we work for eight seconds and people clap for us when we're done. So, pretty pretty good job. And um, you're from Arkansas, so what does it feel, how does it feel being here home competing? Well, I'm not competing. I broke my leg in October. So uh, they put some rods in my leg. And so I'm here, just here promoting the, the event uh, for the PBR where I've been part of for since 2012. And and just here to uh, for the fans of Arkansas, just, um, to hear just uh, to let them hear about the bull riding and support the PBR and to see my buddies uh, ride some bulls. And for people that have never been, you know, to an event like this, what can they expect? Yes, well, it'll be the top 35 bull riders in the world with the best bulls in the world. Um, if you've never been, you'll be a fan when you do leave because it, I mean, it's it's action packed. This is uh, actually really. Uh, Modern day gladiators is really what we are, is man versus beast, and um, there's no whistle, no referees to uh, pause the play. It's um, it's definitely a, a good family event, and you're gonna pay for the whole seat, but I guarantee you, only use the edge. So, um, yeah, come on out. So how does one get into bull riding in the first place? Do you just hop on a bull, like how does that work? I mean, you can look. I mean, you can look around. Those junior rodeo associations that you can go try it out. There's practice pins that people do. Um, but really and truly, uh, just go and get on. You can't. You don't know if you can unless you get on one. What's the longest you've ever uh, stayed on? It's only uh, eight seconds. You got to ride eight seconds to get a qualified uh, ride and uh, get a score. Um, is there anything else you want people to know, you know, about this sport or about um, any, the event in general? Tomorrow night, 7.45. Uh, Saturday night, 6.45. And be best bull riders on the face of the planet, right here in, in our backyard at Simmons Bank Arena. How long have you uh, been a professional bull rider? I've been a professional bull rider for four years now. And I think I read you first started when you were eight years old. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, probably a little younger than that, riding sheep and stuff like that, and then just worked my way up. When you tell people, you know, this is what you do as a career, what, what is their first react? How, how do they react to that? They usually ask me why, why Red Bulls. You know, why would you want to get on, you know, a bull and do that every weekend? Why do you? You know, it's something I've always wanted to do since I was a young kid and. It's always been a passion of mine, so you know it's it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do. So I'm just going with it. Is it like a a thrill like you chase, or is that kind of what you guys do? Like I mean, I, skydiving people, you know, they look for a thrill. Is this kind of your thrill, I guess? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's I've never found anything quite like it. You know, and. Uh, you know, being it's something that I've always wanted to do, and you know, it's always been a passion of mine. And you get the thrill while doing it. You know, that that's what keeps me coming back. For people that are coming um, this weekend, what what is something like? What's your favorite part about it? What's something that you think everybody else would might like? Yeah, you know, it's the best bull riders in the world going head to head with the best bulls in the world. They're gonna have pyro, lights, music. It's it's gonna be a concert with with the bull riding you know, mixed in between and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a show like they've never seen before if they've never been to an event. And for, um, 
you know, we're in Arkansas, the little kids, they they love seeing this stuff, they love doing this stuff. What would you say to that little kid that uh, wants to chase a dream like you? Yeah, just just keep keep at it, you know. Um, you know, you can achieve anything that you want to. You just put your mind to it and uh, keep working at it and you'll, you'll get there. And uh, this is kind of something you do all year long. How, what does your schedule look like? Yeah, you, it's every weekend pretty much. You know, we get very little breaks in between, so it's it's a long grind. Have you ever competed um, here at Simmons Bank Arena? I have not. What are you? Is there anything different about Arkansas that you're just like, oh, this is kind of stood out? Or have you not, been? not yet. Yeah, I haven't really got a, the chance to experience a whole lot since I've been here. Um, and there's 35 people competing. Is that correct? Correct. Um, what's kind of the age range of? you know the people that are riding on the bulls yeah so you have to be 18 to be a professional bull rider so you you got anywhere from 18 to uh, uh i don't even know what the oldest one would be for sure but you know thir 30s and is this something that you stay in for a long time or do you kind of get out of it after a certain age what, how does that work yeah it just kind of you know depends on how well your body holds up and how, how well you can uh, handle the wear and tear you know it's some of them sports some guys you know their bodies don't hold up so they gotta you know quit a little sooner and some some people hold up a lot a lot more and they can they can have a longer career um, what's the longest you've stayed on eight seconds that's all we're, we're required to stay on eight seconds um, I'm trying to think of what else to ask. What, can you talk about like what? What are some of the different things that are going to be going on throughout the event? Yeah, you know they're going to be doing giveaways, and uh, you know they're going to have you know special acts and stuff during the performance, and you know just the the bull riding, you know that's that's going to be a treat within itself, you know, and uh, you know there's going to be a lot of things for the crowd to get involved in during the event. Is there anything else you want people to know about the event or, uh, sorry, or about bull riding in general? Uh, the one thing I would say is, you know, if you've never been to one before, you're going to want to come back after you've, uh, you've attended one of them.